Okay, we're here in the Cricut Design Space. What we want to do now is select custom materials. So from the menu, we go down here to Manage Materials. Make sure the Cricut's uh, on. And these are all the uh, preloaded materials that you can use, but we have to make our own. So using your page down or arrow down, you'll come down to see uh, the ones that I've already put in here. 16th inch wood. Uh, 20 and 30,000 styrene, 16th inch clapboard siding, a uh, heavy 50,000 mount board. These are uh, items that I have, have run through the Cricut, and it's basically trial and error to see just how many cuts you need uh, to, to get through the material. So we're going to add a new piece of material, and we're going to call it board and batten 16th inch. We'll save it. Once it's saved, up on top, we can now put in what we need uh, for specifications for this cut. The blade is going to be D-point. Pretty much all the things we're going to be doing will be D-point. How many times do you want the Cricut to cut? Now when I first started with the uh, uh, 16th inch wood, I think I went to 4, and it didn't really cut all the way through, so I went to 6, and then I tested it again. So if you'll, you'll, you'll need some scrap material here to work through. But let's just say we'll go to four here. This is the slider for the pressure that the Cricut puts on the material. So we're going to keep that at 350 all the way up. We'll save this. Now we'll go ahead and load an image. This is one that I've done. And there we are. Now go ahead in the upper right where it says make it this now is getting ready to cut. This is what your material looks like, or I'm sorry, your drawing looks like. You can place it anywhere on the mat, so uh, make sure that the material you're using, you know, fits in these dimensions. Go ahead and hit continue. If the machine is turned to custom, the custom menu will come up. Select view all, category, my materials, and there is our uh, board and batten. Select it, click on done. The Cricut's now ready. It's reminding you that you need the D-point blade. The flashing light on the Cricut is on. We'll go through this when we cut the milk station, but for now uh, we're just going to uh, go through this real quick here. Uh, load the material and do your cut. When the cut's finished, take it out of the Cricut and look at the back. Did it come all the way through? Uh, do these windows just pop out? Does the door pop out? If not, if you can kind of see it creasing on the back of the material but it's not all the way through, go back to your menu, um, manage custom materials, let it load, go down to the bottom, find our uh, board and batten, edit that, and go to six. Take it up one or two. Don't go all the way to nine for everything because it puts a lot of wear and tear on the blade. And you also don't want to cut the cutting mat that the material's sitting on. So, you know, go up two. Save it. And then do the whole process over again. And that's the trial and error. Once you have it dialed in, you're good. So, that's how you can set custom materials. Uh, that's it for here. Next time, we'll go ahead and uh, design our milk station. Open office drawing program. That's what we're going to use for our example here. We need to make three lines. Our line tools right up here. Select it. Bring it down to your sheet here. Doesn't matter where we are. Use your shift key and then click the mouse and drag. That's going to be our front wall. Don't worry about the size. Select another line. Shift and go for your floor. Click a third line. That's going to be the rear wall. Shift and drop. Now you can come back to your front wall. We'll move it down here. Do a right click and we can uh, position it. We know the height of the front wall is 2.38. There's our floor. We know the uh, width is 
and on the, the rear wall is that's the short one the height there is going to be 1.88 click the floor bring it down notice it'll snap to the front wall right where we want it take your uh, rear wall bring that down it'll snap to the floor now we have to make our diagonal we'll come back to the line tool this time without shifting click on the front wall and drag to the rear that's our basic shape for the side wall click your mouse and drag over the whole thing so everything's selected go to modify up here at the top and connect and that just makes sure that everything here is one piece and that's all we need to do here we'll put the window in in Cricut if we were using a CAD program we would put the window in here and we would do the rest of the building in here but all I want here is to export the shape and I'll show you why when we get over to Cricut so we need to save this as an export item we go to file export we're going to save this as a JPEG uh, you can see I already got one in here but we'll do this again we'll call it sidewall 2 save it another menu comes up we don't care about any of this stuff as long as we're at hundred percent there's your slider so make sure you're at hundred percent quality and click OK and that will save it that's all we need to do here uh, you could save it in the open office format by doing a save as but again all I care about is the export so that's it for here we're finished we'll see you back in Cricut okay we're going to select Cricut design space from our desktop this will bring up your default browser it'll connect to uh, the design space in the Cricut software which is in the cloud so you need an internet connection we want to get a new project started here we need to upload that sidewall we did so over here on the left we collect uh, click on upload upload image there's our sidewall two. select it open it it wants to know how complex this is this is obviously very simple so you select simple bottom right continue the last thing we need to tell the, the software is what do we not want we don't want any of the background we just want our sidewall so anywhere here click and the background disappears select continue make sure you save this as a cut image so make sure this box has the green outline not this one has to be this one here's the image uh, name it'll save it as you can change that if you want we're just going to save it as sidewall 2 and there we have it select it from here notice it goes green box again bottom right insert now we're in the design space now remember I told you that this did not will not come in the same size as you designed it and that's because we're not using a true CAD program but because we're running a square here we simply put 2.38 and we have 2.38 top and bottom that's what we're looking for and there is our sidewall now we got to put a window in we go to shapes square and this time we're going to undo the paddle lock because our window is not a square our window I believe is uh, where's our window here 0.64 by 0.66 we can slide this into our sidewall these squares here are a quarter inch so for us that's that's cool because that's a foot in, in O scale so bring the window over I think my plans called for four and a half up and three in it's not that important for this demonstration but we'll go roughly four and a half up and three over there's our window now we have to tell Cricut to cut the window out so click and drag your mouse it selects everything here on the bottom right you'll see the slice tool is activated select it it's now cut the window out move our sidewall away we don't want that we can get rid of it there's our sidewall with the window ready to go the last thing we need to do is duplicate that so we'll highlight this 
and we'll right click and we'll copy it and we'll come out here and we'll paste and we have our two sidewalls. Because we're cutting this out of clapboard we need to reverse one of these two or the clapboard is going to be in the inside in one of your cuts. So select one of these and we're going to flip it horizontally and there you have it. There's our sidewalls, the windows are cut, we're done. We can highlight these, move them out of the way and next we can go and finish the building. So what we need to do now is to uh, create our front. We'll come back to our square. The front is not a square, so we need to undo the padlock. And our front wall is 1.88 wide by 2.38 tall. And you can bring that down and check it against our back wall or our side wall, and that's, that's right. We need to create a door. We'll go back and do a square. Again, unlock the padlock because our door is not a square. Our door is 0.75 by 1.75. And we can bring this into where we want to cut. I think on my plans I was offset. You want to be careful you don't get too close to the edge here because if you're using wood especially, the Cricut's going to make five or six cuts, whatever we tell it to and you may get a splinter here so you want to leave it a little bit away I'm going to keep it offset like that the last thing you want to do here is make sure the bottom of the door is exactly the bottom of the wall so click and drag and align this bottoms now we can highlight again go back to our slice tool we're going to cut the door out we're going to get rid of that oops one more time and there's our front wall. The last thing we have to do is make a back wall, bring out our good old square again, undo the padlock. Our rear wall is 1.88 by 2.13 and there you have it. There's our building. If you want to do the roof, I'll just do it real quick. Uh, I'm going to make my roof out of wood, but if you're going to cut it out of styrene maybe, uh, you wouldn't do it at the same time, but just to show you again, just walk through it one more time. Our roof is going to be uh, 2.13 by 2.88. 2.13, there we go. There's our roof. That's how you do it. Now again, we're not going to cut the roof out of wood, so we're going to get rid of it here. So here is our building. We have our side walls, we have our front wall, and our rear wall. From here, we can go to the cut. Before we go to cut, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, side wall in Cricut in case you don't have any other drawing programs. So we're going to save this project. We're going to call it Milk Station. We'll save it and now we'll uh, we'll come back and show you how to do that drawing in Cricut if you don't have a draw program. Okay, we're back in our Cricut design space. I want to show you if you don't have draw or any other software how we can do that sidewall in Cricut. It's not quite as easy, but it's doable. So we'll go over here and pick a shape. We'll pick our square. We know that our sidewall is, is, is really square. It's actually 2.38 square. So that's our sidewall. Now we have to come up with a, uh, a guide. So we'll come up and do another square. This time we'll unlock the padlock because I want this to be fairly narrow. So maybe 0.12. The height is going to be the height of the rear wall, 1.88. Bring this down and get it as close as you can to our rear wall without actually going into it. Highlight this whole thing, align to the bottom. Now we're on the same plane here. This is just a guide. The final step is to bring up a square again. Now what we have to do, and let's bring this down give us some more room we have to go from here to here 
and the Cricut software does not do angles very well. So we have to kind of do this convoluted uh, twisting here. But we actually turn this, and we come down and look at your uh, look at your your back wall line is right there. But we're not close here. We're off. So we'll come back and we'll just tweak it a little more and bring it down and that's pretty close. We've just touched there, we've just touched there. So there is our angle. Now we need to get rid of our ruler here, our little guide, get rid of that. Now highlight the entire project. Go back over here to the bottom right, your slice tool, select it, get rid of that, get rid of that, and there's our back wall. This stuff, or I'm sorry, our side wall. These we don't need. We'll get rid of them. And here we are with our nice back side wall. Uh, if you want to do the window, we'll run through that again real quick. Unlock the paddle lock. And I believe our window is point, uh, 0.64 by 0.66. There's our window. Put it where you want it. One, two, three, four and a half. You know, we're going to wing this. There's our window. Again, we need to tell Cricut to cut that. Highlight the project. Go back to your slice tool. We don't need the window. And there's our sidewall. We're going to uh, copy this. We're going to paste it. Finally, we're going to flip it. And we're set. So, if you don't have a draw program, a CAD program, everything can be done here. Not quite as easy, but it's doable, and that's what we wanted to show you. Okay, we've opened up Design Space again, and we have one more thing to go through before we cut. And that is the difference between this milk station, which we imported the sidewalls, versus this milk station where we drew the sidewalls in Cricut. If we open up this one and we go to make it, here's our two sidewalls that we imported. It wants to do those separately from our front and back wall and that's not really an issue. If your material, our clapboard siding, I'm going to lay on here and we'll cover this later, the next session. Uh, we're going to lay it on here about three and a half inch wide all the way by 12 across. So we want to move these down just a bit. We Again, we're worried about splintering the wood. So we'll go about like that. If your material was going vertically, simply put it down here. Not a problem. So we have, we're back up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this cut. After it cuts and ejects, don't take the material off the mat. Simply go to the next mat and move these past your six inch line and put the mat in the material right back in again. That way your previous cuts over here, that's fine. It just saves you from taking the wood off and putting it back on. And then make these cuts and we're finished. If we look at the milk house that we did uh, inside Cricut, we remember we drew these uh, horizontals in Cricut and now we go to make it everything comes on the same plane and that's because there's no importation I don't, I don't know why but that's just the way Cricut works we're going to spread these out because we don't want any kind of uh, splintering we'll go ahead and load the mat and cut again if our, if our material were vertical you could put this here and there if we had a, a square piece of material you could put these up here and over here. Really doesn't matter. But again, that's the difference between everything being drawn in Cricut and having part of your project imported. Okay, we're ready to cut. We have our milk station. We have all four pieces. We're going to go to the, over the uh, top right here, click on Make It. I want to spread these just a little bit. I want to keep at least a quarter of an inch around things. And we'll hit Continue. It'll connect to the Cricut. 
we need to uh, view all because we're on uh, custom materials. I need to find my materials and I am using clapboard siding. Click done. It wants you to be sure you have the deep point blade in, which we don't. That would not have been good. Okay, the deep point blades in. It wants you to load the mat and click this flashing button on the Cricut. I have the wood on the mat. It's clapboard siding, so be sure the clapboard's going the right way. We'll slide it in the Cricut and we'll hit load. And now it wants you to click on go. And the cutting begins. And you can see it gives you a rough idea on the screen how long it's going to take. If this were uh, cardstock, we'd be done. It, it's that fast. But remember, we're making multiple cuts here. Okay, now we need to unload the mat and we need to go to our second cut, which is right here. And we need to uh, edit this cut because we need to move these guys down rather than taking it, the wood off, the material off and reloading it. We're just going to slide these guys down past the six inch mark where we stopped, spread them out a little. And load the mat again and press the cut button and away we go. Cut number two. Go ahead and unload the mat. We'll bring it down here to our board and we'll slowly 
peel off the wood. There's a side wall. There's a side, the other, other side wall. There's our back wall. And our door front wall here. You can see I'm having a little bit of problem, and that could be the blades getting dull. I've been using it quite a bit, but it's still, it still pops out. And uh, that's how you can tell when you're getting a dull blade. But there's our pieces. And we're set to go downstairs and actually build this.